Hello, I'm Kimon Francis. Jamaicans in Florida have weathered Hurricane Milton with little damage and no loss of lives. Jamaica's Consul General to Miami, Oliver Mayer, told the Gleaner that his checks revealed that there were mostly reports of property damage and loss of power. The San Andreas North Police have launched several operations aimed at capturing those responsible for Wednesday night's shooting of six people in Cassava Peace, which claimed the life of a woman. The deceased has been identified as 28-year-old mother of three, Kellyanne Bernard. The government's reverse income tax credit has put delinquent employers under the microscope amid concerns that non-filing of income tax returns may cause employees to not benefit from the initiative. Some 50,000 applicants have reportedly been denied the benefit so far, although the specific reasons were not immediately clear. Entertainer Sean Paul, former Commissioner of Police Major General Anthony Anderson and businessman Christopher Zaka are to be conferred with honorary doctorates at this year's graduation ceremonies of the University of Technology Jamaica. UTEC Jamaica will host graduation ceremonies on November 15 and 16 at the Alfred Sangster Auditorium at its Papine campus. In sports, Rafael Nadal is retiring from professional tennis at age 38 after winning 22 Grand Slam titles. Nadal has competed infrequently over the past two seasons because of injuries and said next month's Davis Cup finals will mark his farewell to the sport. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $159.24, the British pound is sterling for $207.75, and the Canadian dollar for $116.08. In your weather forecast on Friday morning, there will be partly cloudy skies. In the afternoon, expect widely scattered showers and thunderstorms across sections of most parishes. And that's it for the Glean of Minute. Remember to follow us on X, Facebook and Instagram. And like, comment and share on YouTube. I'm Kimon Francis. Thank you.